when God is asking us to step out on faith, he will provide the means for us to do so. I want you to hold these nuggets in your back pocket so when you do start to experience these signs, you know what time it is. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Melody and I make faith-based content here on YouTube. I post new videos every single Monday and Thursday. So if that is something you're interested in, definitely be sure and subscribe. I would love to have you join the family. So in today's video, we are gonna be talking about stepping out on faith. And specifically, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys four signs that it is time for you to step out on faith. I feel like personally, this is something really timely for us to kind of dive into, to really go to God about as we are going into this new year 2023. I don't know about you but I literally cannot believe we are days away from an entire new year, a fresh 365 days and I personally feel like this is the best time for us to really get in our minds and our hearts and our spirits, get a really clear understanding of what God is calling us to do in this season. So whether these four signs apply to you perfectly for where you are right now in your walk, or if they don't, I feel like regardless, at some point in this coming year and beyond, God is going to be asking you to step out on faith. So I want you to hold these nuggets in your back pocket so when you do start to experience these signs, you know what time it is. But before we hop into the four signs, I feel like it's really important for us to kind of reframe our idea of what it looks like to step out on faith. Sometimes even in my life, I feel like stepping out on faith has to be this big, bold action, this big, bold declaration, but really just holding on to a hope in our hearts, that can be us stepping out on faith, especially when what we're seeing in our lives and our day to day does not correlate or look like that thing that God has promised us. That can be the most radical thing we can do, holding on to God's promise. So when I think of people in the Bible that demonstrated this act of stepping out on faith, sometimes it was bold but sometimes it was more subtle. Deciding to do things differently than what you grew up around, that is you stepping out on faith. Deciding to do the thing that God called you to do, regardless of whether people around you understand or agree with you, that is stepping out on faith. So with all that being said, and our perspectives now in perfect alignment as we hop into these four signs, I first wanna go ahead and thank Angel Studios for sponsoring today's video. Now this is not my first time working with Angel Studios, and I am so incredibly honored to be partnering with them on today's video as well. They are the studio that is responsible for the TV show, The Chosen. So recently they dropped season three. We got episode one, episode two, and episode number three is actually gonna be dropped on Christmas. So I haven't seen that one quite yet. I'm actually filming this before Christmas. But in the last episode, episode number two, I was so moved about the relationship and the reconciliation that a lot of the disciples are going through after listening in person to Jesus's Sermon on the Mount. So if you guys want to check out The Chosen Season 3 as well as the previous seasons if you want to get caught up or just re-watch them, all you have to do is download the Angel Studios app which is completely free and I will have that linked for you in the description box. Now once you get the app you actually are going to have access to so much more than just the TV show The Chosen. There are movies on the app, there are also other TV shows. One specifically my husband and I have been loving Loving. So I have a husband that loves anime, loves animation, and to be completely honest, that's generally not my thing, but they have a TV show on the Angel Studios app called The Wing Feather Saga. The Wing Feather Saga episodes are like 30, 35 minutes, which is perfect for us. We love to just put Zoe down for the night, turn on one of these episodes and just unwind together. Now the creatures that you see in this show are so cute and the plot is there. Like I feel like sometimes for me, I'm not really into animation because the plot just isn't plotting, if you know what I mean. But for this, I really love the storyline and it's like gripping me in and I'm excited to watch all the new episodes as they drop. So if you guys wanna check out the Wing Feather Saga as well as the Chosen and everything else that they have on the Angel Studios app, again, I will have that app linked for you in the description box so you can download it and it is completely free so thank you again to angel studios for partnering with me on today's video now let's go ahead and hop into our four signs that it's time for you to step out on faith so sign number one on our list today that it is time for you to step out on faith is if god is leading you outside of your comfort zone I feel like oftentimes we can think leading outside of our comfort zone is going to be again something big grand huge 
But even if God is asking you to reframe how you operate in a specific area, maybe break generational curses, maybe take up a new hobby that causes you to implement more discipline, anything that is causing you to get outside of what is comfortable and what is normal for you is the Lord asking you to step out on faith and to trust him as he's leading you outside of your comfort zone. I feel like someone in the Bible that knows a lot about someone leading him outside of his comfort zone is Moses. But someone that we don't often think about is how it must have been for Joshua, Moses's brother, to take over as the leader once Moses passed. So this verse in Joshua, I think, really beautifully highlights how the Lord is with people as he leads them outside of what is their norm, leads them outside of what is comfortable for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this verse up on the screen for you it comes from Joshua chapter 1 verse 5 and 6 and it says no one will be able to stand against you as long as you live for I will be with you as I was with Moses I will not fail you or abandon you be strong and courageous for you are the one who will lead these people to possess all the land I swore to their ancestors I would give them so when it comes to these words that the Lord is literally speaking to Joshua, letting him know that he is going to be with him as he does the thing that he has called him to do, i.e. lead these people to the promised land, this is something that we can remember and hold in our hearts as we do the thing that God has called us to do, which is likely going to call us right outside of our comfort zone. So that is going to be sign number one. So sign number two on our list today that it's time for you to step out on faith is if you are growing closer to the Lord and depending less and less on the opinions and the thoughts of others. This is definitely a prerequisite to stepping out on faith because oftentimes the thing that God is calling us to do, not everyone in our life is going to understand or be supportive. So we have to be able to solely depend on the Lord and not necessarily be dependent on people's praise or approval to take that next step. So if you're finding yourselves really building yourself up in your confidence in God and not relying on other people building you up or other people complimenting you or other people approving you to do something, that is a sign that it is time to step out on faith and do that next thing that God is calling you to do. And sometimes this is going to take us getting out of our own heads as well. Sometimes the thing that God is going to call us to do, that next thing that he wants us to step out on faith on, isn't going to make logical sense. But that's when we have to remind ourselves ourselves that we serve a God that doesn't play by these earthly rules, quitting a job before you have one lined up, or moving across the country before you have a full plan. These are things that by the world standards are absolutely insane, but God can do anything. So regardless of whether we need to get out of our own way or kind of shun and quiet our ears to the opinions of others, this is a prerequisite to stepping out on faith and doing the thing that God has called us to do. Now the verse I have for you here, I'm going to go ahead and pop up on the screen. It comes from the book of Psalms. So it is Psalms chapter 118 verses 6 through 7. Sorry, 6 through 8. And it says, The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can mere people do to me? Yes, the Lord is for me. He will help me. I will look in triumph at those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in people. I love these verses. I always go back to these to remind myself that God is with me as I'm doing the thing that he's called me to do, as I'm stepping out on faith and relying on him, he is with me, he will not forsake me. And these are just the guarantees that are written in Psalms that we can hold in our hearts and even go back and reference as we might be navigating choppy water because that is a part of stepping out on faith. It's not always going to be smooth sailing. So that is going to be sign number two. So sign number three on our list today, the third sign that it's time for you to step out on faith is if you feel in your spirit that the Lord has truly prepared you to do this next thing that he's calling you to step out and do. Now, when it comes to this sign, this one is definitely one of those that's a little bit more intangible. It's just this knowing in our hearts. It's this knowing in our spirits that we have been equipped, that we have been prepared. Now, when it comes to this point, I'm just going to share a little bit of my testimony and some of the ways that God 
was working in my life before I even knew the Lord and had a personal relationship with him. And I feel like that just speaks to the amazing and intentional God that we serve. So way back in college, long before I had a personal relationship with God, back when I was calling God the universe, and I used to carry crystals in my pockets thinking they were gonna make my day better, I was chaplain of the Greek organization that I was in in college. It was a co-ed business fraternity and I was the chaplain leading book clubs, leading in a capacity that I'm leading now but for the Lord. So now fast forward 10 years, I now have a membership club that created for this membership club. And so much of the skills and the things that I learned way back then, the Lord has flipped the script and allowed me to use those same skills now 10 years later to do this for his glory. And as I was creating the CFT membership club, as I was stepping into entrepreneurship full time this year, as I was taking on this new role of mother and wife, I felt this knowing and this deep peace in my soul that I knew God has been equipping me for this moment. And so it gave me the courage to step out on faith. It gave me the wherewithal to know that yes, the Lord has been preparing me even when I didn't know he was preparing me and even when I didn't call him by name. So I'm just gonna stop there before I start crying because when I really think about the goodness of God and how much he has shown up in my life when I did not deserve it, I will be moved to tears and we don't need this in this video. Video. So for this point and this sign, I'm going to go ahead and pop up the Bible verse I have for you here. It comes from the book of Isaiah. It's Isaiah chapter 61 verse 1. And it says, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release the darkness for the prisoners. I feel like there's just something so beautiful about this verse because it shows the power of knowing what the Lord has called you to do and having the courage to know if he's called you to do it, he has prepared you. And whether you feel prepared or not, you are and he's going to be with you the whole entire time. So that is going to be sign number three. So sign number four today, our fourth and final sign that it is time for you to step out on faith is if the same opportunity keeps presenting itself for you to do so. And when it comes to this one, I feel like we just have to remember that we serve a God that knows us. He knows we're stubborn and he knows that we might need to have things happen multiple times for us to pull the trigger, to take that action. And we also serve a God that's gonna be patient with us. Now, something too that we have to remember is that when God is asking us to step out on faith, he will provide the means for us to do so. So this opportunity is going to be that means for you to take that next step. Now the verse I have for you here, I'm gonna go ahead and pop it up on the screen. It comes from the book of Colossians. It's going to be Colossians chapter four, verse five and six. And it says, be wise in the way that you act towards outsiders. Make the most of every opportunity. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Now these verses were written by Paul and sent in a letter to the church in Colossae. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I'm gonna go have, go ahead and have that spelled out for you right here. But basically these verses are reminding us as believers how we need to operate in this world. And something that Paul chose to include in these verses and something that we can hold in our hearts today is that we need to make the most of every opportunity. And more than that, as we do take that next step, as we do go out and faith we need to make sure that we bring salt with us we need to make sure that everywhere we go people know that we are believers there's something a little bit different about us so those opportunities that god brings around for us to step out on faith it's also that opportunity for us to make sure that people know that there's something a little bit different about us we're believers we have a little extra spice a little extra salt to us and we are the light of this earth so that is going to be sign number four all right sis that is going to be it for me these are the four signs it is time for you to step out in faith now like i mentioned at the beginning of the video whether these signs are applicable for where you are right now i can guarantee you at some point in 2023 and beyond it's going to be time for you to step out on faith so i hope that you can hold these little nuggets of truth in your back pocket and pull them out when the opportunity arises Again, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And now, of course, it is your turn. 
So as we gear up to go into 2023, I would love to know in the comments, what is your one word or your phrase for the year? This year, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm not doing one word, but I'm doing more of like a mission statement. So I'm gonna share mine in the comments below. So I definitely encourage you guys, share your one word, share your words, your mission statement, whatever you have crafted with the Lord, share it in the comments. I look forward to reading through. I encourage you guys to do the same. All right, guys, I love you so much. I hope you have the best new year. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and I will see you in my next video. Peace.